Hey guys, uh, Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals, uh, Trayer Wilderness. Um, today, I thought I'd show you a little project I'm working on. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay, this wind comes and goes. A um, little project I'm working on uh, is a router table. I had an old table saw that didn't work anymore and I didn't want to throw it out so and I could use a, a router table. So I made this old table into a uh, router table, this old table saw. So I thought I'd show you what I did here and how I did it. I should have showed you I guess as I was going along I didn't think about it. But <coughs> excuse me. Here it is. Um you know just your an old like I said an old table saw. Um everything's I took the motor and everything out, all the gears and everything. Um, what I did was, I'm still going to use the, the the cord over here, um, you know, normally, and this switch. I'm still going to use that. Um, what I did is I wired a outlet, a regular house outlet on the inside, um, and I'm going to plug the the router wire into that and that'll allow me to turn this on and off and, and use that utilize that switch and everything um i could have tore the switch apart you know and wired that all back up but just easier to just leave it how it is and do it that way um <clears throat> what i did here is i took a piece of uh, plate steel right here and uh I welded, as you can see here, well, the weld marks, um, little brackets on the inside. So what I could do is I could uh, countersink, because this top steel isn't real thick, um, uh, get this thing out of here. It's a little tight getting it in and out. Um, I'll just leave it in there. Um, <clears throat> but I can take it in and out of there if I have to. But that's only like uh, 16, uh, something like that, inch thick steel. Um, so I, I, you know, I drill through that to countersink it, and I'd be through my steel, and it wouldn't give me any strength there to hold them them bolts in in place. So what I did is I welded brackets on the back, and. I can stick my bolts through and down through my router and uh, get it to uh, come up, you know, get it to hold it in place. And I just took the and cut a hole in here, the size of the, well, three quarters of an inch shorter than what this um, top was. And then I, I marked it and at, right here. And cut it out with a jigsaw, and then took the router and went around. So this sits down in here, nice, you know, real nice and flush. Took this old piece of plywood. Uh, that's just what I had. So I took this piece of plywood and uh, sanded it real nice and smooth. Um, what I'm gonna do eventually, I don't have any two by fours right now. What I'm gonna do is take a two by four and and. In the the edge of it, I'm going to take a hole saw and drill up, and then notch that out. Um, and that two by four will sit right in the edge. Um, so that that'll be my fence that I can run, uh, bring my uh, bit router bit up to my level and run it right down that fence, and you know have it real nice, something I can really take it in against and go go with it. Um, show you down in here um yeah should have uh, got my tripod out here um uh man sorry guys i i apologize i should have taken my router there there you can see i took it took it out of there um I'm going to show you these, these brackets here. Sorry about all the movement. Um, if you can see um, brackets there. I had to make spacers up um, because my bolts were a little longer than what they needed to be. But 
just made spacers or those brackets up so I could countersink them screws. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what I did here is I put uh, welded up a piece of angle, made my own angle. I put that on there and then I welded a piece or uh, screwed a piece of uh, wood to the back there uh, to stabilize this, make this a little um, more stable because it is only half inch or 7 16th um, plywood. Um, I needed something to make that a little more stable, so I stuck them on there for stability reasons. Um, here's now, I should probably, I taped it up and everything. I should have a box or something to stick this up, this receptacle up on the side. But um, that's just a, you know, coming out of your switch and going into the receptacle. I'll plug my router into into that. And I can uh, then uh, turn it on and off. And uh, that was the wire that went to the motor. Um... I stuck these boards on here because I had to get it up again above this little lip here. It's the only lip there, but if I cut that off, um, it would have been uh, really made this weak. So I just took and screwed down through the plastic these two pieces, got it up above that. I can take and put a screw, two screws in in from the top, and it'll hold that tabletop and on there nice if I if I have to. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this um, quick little video on how I made this, uh, this router table. Um, yeah, nothing fancy, but I think it'll work uh, just fine. Um, my grandfather made something similar to this. That's where I got the idea from. So, well, guys, hopefully you uh, got something out of this. Maybe you can make something like that. You got something laying around. Uh, you know, you never know what you can use stuff for. But, uh, like I said, hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully everybody's doing well out there. And uh, I guess that being said, take care, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.